Hello guys, welcome to another video on the channel. This one's a bit different from the usual, so I won't be offended if you want to move on and skip this one. But this is a motorcycling video, as you can see here. Just having a very quick comparison, sort of chat about the BMW K1600 GT, which is this bike here. Beautiful bike, huge, absolutely huge. <laughs> and my newly acquired FJR 1300. In fact, I've just bought it tonight and here she is. And why have I bought that when I have this bike? Well, I've had this one now for about a year. And in that time, I've absolutely loved the bike in terms of its riding. Nothing comes close to its uh, sort of very svelte and comfortable riding position. Um, it's, it's a wonderful machine, but there's a, quite a few problems with it, unfortunately, that were just, I couldn't ignore anymore. Uh, mainly being just the reliability of the thing. I mean, I've only put about 8,000 miles on this now and already it's had a coolant leak. Uh, number four coil has now uh, gone bad, which is gonna cost 500 odd pounds to get fixed, luckily under warranty. But you know, besides the point, these things do break quite a bit, unfortunately. Mainly those coils, which actually can break at any time. And there are six of them because it's a six cylinder engine. That does mean it's very smooth. Uh, the performance is just no vibration or anything. It's beautiful. So as we pan around the bike, you can see here, it is a very nice looking machine, no doubt about it. Um, the gauges and everything are, well, I've never been a fan, I guess, of the layout. It looks like an old 1980s kind of radio. I'll just switch it on for you guys here. Uh, and even you can see there the six comes in just to let you remind you of the engine configuration which unfortunately is part of the problems not really one for listening to the radio that much um, but that option is there if you need it but yeah for me personally um, my BMW experience was a disappointing one and that is why I have gone back to this the Yamaha FGR 1300, in my opinion, is the quintessential sports tourer with the emphasis on sport. I mean, I've actually just gone for a ride on both of these bikes because you don't get a chance to do that very often because this one will be, I'll be selling this very soon. Uh, and actually, it's quite, incre it's quite incredible how sporty and lively it feels and how light it, it feels in comparison. Now, on the old FGR I used to own, I've done a thousand mile days on that before with no problems. So it really begs the question of, do you really need that extra comfort and weight of the BMW machine, particularly when it's known for being quite an unreliable bike, unfortunately. One of these will last you a hundred thousand miles and beyond, um, which, and to be honest, for me personally, it just looks, the business, it just looks really nice. So as you can see here, I'll just start this bike up as well, or just the dash, dash layout here. Now, this is where the BMW goes ahead. The BMW has a TFT screen. This is LCD, which is a little bit uh, more old school. But then I guess I'm quite old school, so I quite like it. And I think it still looks very modern. Uh, and you know, one thing that is missing from the big Beamer, and that is a huge speedometer. You can't miss it on this bike. It's right there. <laughs> And all the menus and functions are all sort of on this switch, switch gear here, which, by the way, feels really chunky and well made. If we come uh, across to the K1600, the switch gear is on like a PCB board and it feels, you know, it doesn't have a, a defined click or satisfying sort of feel to it. Not, not very tactile. And you know what? <laughs> In the service history of this particular bike, the switch gear has been replaced three times, 600 pounds a pop. It's just things like that that I just think are completely unacceptable for a premium brand like BMW. So I'm now, uh, I'm now aboard an FGR again. And you know what? I'm very happy about that. And I certainly will be putting on plenty of miles on this beast in the coming months and years, that's for sure. And one thing I do like, actually, before I say goodbye, is the LED lighting front and back. Funny enough, the BM doesn't have that. And I think that's kind of important. I 
hate changing bulbs. <laughs> anyway, folks, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye for now.